is Laura here. I'm here today to I'm here today to do another review, and this review will be about Sarah J. Moss and her collections of novellas called The Assassin Blade. Now these are the collections of novellas that fall in her Thorn of Glass series. There are five of them. Um, but I read I read them before I read book three, Era Fire. Um, and I hadn't read Crown of Midnight in a really long time, so if I could recommend when you read these, if you want to, um, I would recommend you read them directly after Thorn of Glass, because I think that it would make the subsequent books in the series even more stronger, but I loved it. I loved all the stories. It felt to me like a really complete story, so my other recommendation is try to get all the e novellas together and read them back to back to back, which is what I did. You can read them individually and read them over the course of like several months, but I think that if you read them back to back, it really creates a complete narrative. And I think that for me, it was it made the, the book, all the novellas so much stronger and really, really tied together. And I love them. It was heartbreaking and devastating. And in book one, you meet a character that unfortunately has passed away. And in these e novellas, you really get to see him and Selena's relationship and see it develop. And you get to see what led her to go to the salt mines and all that stuff and all her adventures as Ardlin's assassin. Um, and I think my, I had two, fa they, they were all really good. I think my, one of my favorites was the assassin and the healer. It was kind of like a one-off, but I really hope one day we see that character again because she was so strong and so awesome. So I would love to see her and see like maybe if she'll be coming back in subsequent books. I don't know, but I really, really like the character that when she met her. I also really liked um, The Assassin and the Desert. Um, I thought that that was another cool story. They all were so cool and it really, really cr created a cool narrative. But I like that because it really taught her how to fight and taught her like how to be stronger or different. It taught her how to be a different type of um fighter and i really like that um but yeah the, um and also you met a lot of cool characters and things eventually came back but yeah it just it was so cool actually what i would love and i don't know if she'd ever do this i would love to see novellas from kale and kai's perspective like at like before she came i think that that's so cool i think that sarah j moss is one of those writers that can write any character really really well and you want to know more about them so I would love to see e-novellas from different characters' perspectives, especially Cal and Kai, because I think that they're such cool characters. Um, but yeah, no, um, but yeah, so those are just some of my brief thoughts about all of those e-novellas. I love them. I thought it was so cool. And I think you really got to see Selena as a different type of character. I think when you see her in Thorn of Glass, I think she is very, very downtrodden. And I think right now she's kind of on her rise to be strong and confident, but I think she's not quite there yet, and I think the character that you see in these novellas is totally different, and it really shows, it's like the fall of a hero. I think that that's the best way to describe the novellas. It's like the strong going to the weak, and now the weak is becoming strong again in like the book series, and I think that that's such a cool, but I highly recommend these novellas if you have been reading the Thorn of Glass series, um, and also if you haven't, I highly recommend them because I think that it's essential reading to the series because it really makes you understand where Selene is coming from and where she's going to. I also liked it because you got to finally meet, um, the King of Assassins and you got to see her reaction with him, like how he saved her and their interactions and what he did that she liked and what he did that she did not like. And I thought that that was another thing. That was so cool. And I also just liked all the characters that you met. And it was it was a very, very strong, strong collection of novellas. Um, but yeah, those are just some of my thoughts. As always, go like everything below. Sorry I haven't been updating so much. I've been, just been reading a lot. And it's been very, very large books. And that's been doing I'm going back to school on Thursday. I'm going to try to be as up to date as I can. But I apologize in advance if, I'm, if, if I don't post as much as I normally do. But as always, like this little, have you have, have you guys read read the Thorn of Glass series? What do you guys think about it? As always, comment below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.